All right, today's Get Ready With Me, I thought I would share with you my current favorites. If you've been following me, thank you. You may have seen some of these before, but I do have some new products. And my favorites will change from time to time, but I know something is a favorite of mine when I really always want to reach for it. All right, let me put my hair up and get started. All right, let's get started with a lip balm. OMG, this is so good. I got this in a recent-ish Ipsy, I wanna say. This is from Seattle, London, and it's the Watermelon Burst 2-in-1 Everyday Balm and Mask. It smells so good. If you like the smell and subtle taste of watermelon, you're gonna love this. Now, what I don't like about it is it's a little kind of goopy, and when you stick your finger in, first of all, you pull up way too much product, put it on your lips, then you gotta find a tissue or something to wipe your finger off. But what I've been doing lately is I grab just a plain old clear lip balm. Sadly, this one's like gone. You'll see this in my empties video, but I just kind of tap it in there, get a little on there and use that to apply. So good, super comfortable, perfection. Now I don't typically use a primer, so I couldn't legit find a current fave, but I do always apply this next product before foundation. So I'm gonna talk about it. So this here is from Elta MD and it's their SPF 40 Tinted Face Sunscreen. This is really good. And when they say tinted, they mean tinted. Some tinted sunscreens just, it doesn't look white, but this could almost be used as like a very light, very light, um, I don't wanna say foundation, but look at it. First of all, it's thick, almost like a BB cream, and look how pigmented it is. All right, so I literally put it on the same brush I will be using to apply my foundation, and hopefully you can see. I mean, it's gonna be very light coverage, but this is perfect, like I have to run to an appointment or leave the house, but don't feel like putting on a full face of makeup and you know you should wear your sunscreen all the time. So this does two in one. It gives you the sunscreen and it gives some coverage. Well, not cover, it gives color, like it legit, I don't know if it's gonna show up with my bright lights, but it is, giving like a very bronzed look, which for me, when I don't wear makeup, but if I'm tanned or fake tanned, there's something about just having darker skin where I don't look so hideous or monster-like. Still see freckles and all that good stuff, but I think this is really, really nice and I'm reaching for it a lot. Oh, I forgot to mention, I started the video with mascara already on my face. Can you guess? My current fave is from L'Oreal. This is the Telescopic Lift Waterproof Mascara. It's my holy grail. So just about every video you see, this is what I'm wearing. All right, for foundation, I feel like you already know what I like because I really use the same products all the time. However, I recently got this, I want to say in an Ipsy, um, this here is from Pure Lease. It's the Sheer Glow Strawberry Vitamin C Tinted Moisturizer. This pairs beautifully with the MDM Tinted um, SPF. So let me show you what this looks like. It's a little squeezy tube and it's kind of medium viscosity, a little runnier than, actually a lot runnier than the SPF. But I will pick this up with that same brush and just get this on my face. It will add a little more coverage and just the two together pair really, really nicely. And if you aren't aware, I'm fairly certain that Perlice is the sister brand to Yensa. And Yensa has some really nice complexion products. Problem with Yensa is they're very, very pricey. And I wanna say Perlice is less Expensive, I mean, still not drugstore pricing, but I wanna say like $10 less. The Yensa is like in the $40 range, and I wanna say Pearlice is in the $30 range. Still, for me, a little pricey, but that is one of the reasons I really love getting 
the beauty subscription boxes because I get to try brands and products that I would not go out and purchase on my own. All right, so it has a nice glow. If you have mature dry skin like I do, hopefully you enjoy glowy skin as much as I do. But you see how beautiful those work together. It's not giving full coverage. I wouldn't even say, well, it's a light medium, meaning it's in the medium range, but it's on the lower end of medium. Um, it did a good job of lightening my hyperpigmentation. So to me, this is a fantastic combination. Now this next product has gotten me in trouble a couple times. Um, I'm 57, almost 58 years old, and am blessed with some lovely dark circles. So I have been loving the Catrice Under Eye Brightener. Uh, look how much I've gone through. This you will see probably in two to three months in my empties. I just swipe a little on my finger and get it under my eyes. It's a very soft peach. And why I say this gets me in trouble is because it adds a little bit of coverage, not enough to be considered a concealer, but enough where when I apply it before I film, I look in, I'm like, oh, I don't, you know, it makes me forget that I actually need concealer. So this one is perfect to pair with the, um, S the tinted SPF. Again, you just need to run to Costco to pick up a prescription or, you know, that quick little something where you don't need to be all glammed up, but you still want to look presentable enough to go out into the world. This is fantastic. It feels moisturizing, takes two seconds to apply. Loving it. Can you tell? Especially after I first apply it, it's like, oh, kind of looks like I'm wearing concealer, but now we're actually going to put concealer on. All right, so I've talked about this product before. This here is from Winky Lux. This is their Peeper Perfect Under Eye Concealer. You need the tiniest amount, like literally that much, just a little teeny tiny dot, and that will be enough for both eyes. So I'm just going to tap a little there, tap a little there, and just literally I press it in. I don't even need to come back with a brush or a sponge because just pressing it in and it is super moisturizing and just kind of blends in nicely and doesn't crease on me. So we're just going to tap, tap, tap. Whatever's remaining on my finger, I just have a habit. I get a little redness around my nose, so I just kind of press that in and sometimes go on my chin there. So the contour bronzer I've been loving lately is this one here from Makeup by Mario. This is his soft sculpt shaping stick and I have it in the shade light medium. The reason I like this is I like the tone. I like how easy it applies and it's super lazy girl approved. I literally just swipe a little right there. That's it. And then what I do is I take a dry sponge and just press that in. I find it kind of blends in with whatever foundation I'm wearing. Cause if I use a brush or damp sponge, it will kind of pull away. So just real quick, draw a little on, grab the sponge, press in and I'm pushing up, not pulling down and just tap, tap, tap. And it just kind of gives a nice, subtle definition to my face. I will take whatever is remaining and just kind of bring it up the sides here. I have bangs, so I don't really focus too much on bronzing the top portion, but I will kind of come up here on the side in case I'm tucking my hair. All right, on to blush. Blush is always hard for me because it's one of those products where I don't necessarily use the same product every single day. I'm constantly rotating in and out, but I got this in a somewhat recent Ipsy and I'm really liking it. This here is from Tarte. This is the blush tape and I have it in the shade pink. It's your standard, everyone copied Charlotte Tilbury squeezy tube with a sponge tip, but the shade on this is really nice. 
It doesn't have any shimmer, but it has a very subtle kind of glow. Again, it's Lazy Girl approved. Just squeeze some up, tap a little right there, grab the same dry brush, and just kind of tap, tap, tap. Now this one is really nice because if you are afraid of blush or have a tendency to go ham, this one is very buildable. I also go very tiny because I'd rather add a little and then be happy instead of put way too much on. So that's really nice. So I probably could have put more, but we're just gonna tap, tap, tap. And this one's very reminiscent of the Charlotte Tilbury. It's very subtle, very natural, but has a very nice glow. It's not shimmery or shiny, but glowy and dewy. Now, my favorite highlighters that I'm reaching for, and yes, you heard me say highlighters, is because I always have these out in front of me, and I honestly reach for them all the time. Those are highlighters from Ofra, and it's not necessarily one specifically, what I like about these is they have multiple shades and they work more than just highlighter. I can put them in my inner corner, on my brow bone. If whatever eye look I'm doing, I need a little extra pop. These are so universally helpful throughout multiple phases of my makeup look. Since I have a pink cheek going, I'm gonna dip into both this darker pink and this softer pink and just kind of tap back and forth. Oh, some of my favorite brushes, let me talk about that as I apply highlighter. So this is a little mini set I got from Morphe 2. This is the perfect size and shape for me to apply highlighter. I really like it. And then the uh, brush you saw me use for foundation, this here is from Anissa. And if I were using a powder blush, the set I got came with a powder brush as well as one for concealer. Now I always take my um, foundation, whether it's a brush or a sponge, and just kind of quickly go over everything just to make sure everything's nicely blended so I don't have any stripes. And I'll just quickly do that. All right, now I'm gonna leave out these highlighters because I'm sure I will need at least one of them for some place on my eyes. Now when it came to eyes, I really struggled because for eyeshadow palettes, I'm bouncing in between so many different ones depending on the video I'm filming that I don't per se have a favorite. Well, I kind of do. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's more a favorite brand and one particular palette within that brand. But I would say my favorite eyeshadows are from Miss Natasha Denona. And of the Natasha Denona palettes, can you guess? Yes, I need a nude. Now, you've seen me use this before, so I'm just gonna quickly put an eye look together and then come back and talk about the other products because if you really wanna see this palette in action, I'm certain I have several videos, but as a refresher, this is what the color story looks like. All right, here is the eye look I created. I went in all over the lid with this lightest matte shade, which is called Fair. I then put this pink shade in the crease and deepened up the outer corner and underneath my eyes with this shade here called Tender. And then I used this shimmer shade as well as this shimmer shade on my lids. Now, to me, an eye look is never completed until I get my eyeliner on. Eyeliner can really change how your eyes look. Unfortunately, what I'm gonna be using in my crease is not my current fave because I don't have a current fave. This just happens to be the one I'm pushing through to hit pan on, which is from Urban Decay. This is the 24 by seven Glide On Eye Pencil. Uh, honestly, it's good, it's decent, but it transfers down as does every other eyeliner I've ever used. So I'm always on the hunt, as you are probably aware, of a gel eyeliner that will stay on my top waterline only 
and not transfer down as I blink. But when it comes to liquid eyeliner, oh, I do have favorites. And this is my current favorite. Sadly, why is my favorite from a bougie brand? This here is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Feline Flick. It is a felt tip, but it has a very long um, tip, which for me makes it super easy to lay it down and quickly apply. I also have been experimenting, instead of putting it in the inner corner going all the way out, just like you would with like a half lash, I've been starting my eyeliner kind of mid-eye and then just kind of coming out, not necessarily doing a wing per se, but it starts more narrow and gets a little wider as I get to the side. I don't know. I like experimenting with eyeliner. I think it really can change how you look. Now the problem <laughs> you may experience, like I just did, is if you make something a little too thick, now you gotta match it. And so that one side was a little thick right about there. This one was perfect, so now I gotta match it and come in a little further. And that's okay. Not quite mid-eye like I wanted, but I guess having it match is better than, well, here I go against everything I said I was gonna do, but that's okay. All right, now let's move on to oh yeah <laughs> lips brb i totally forgot to tell you what brushes i used okay so these here are from refer i do have a couple of videos talking about these brushes now might be the time or actually wait a couple weeks for the black friday sale cyber monday there's gonna be a lot of sales in december i always hate when you shop black friday and then like Two weeks later, everything goes on sale even more. But these rougher brushes are really, really nice. Worth the price, but get them on sale. All right, this is the next product. It's probably gonna scare some of you. This is a replacement of a product that I just put in my empties because it had gone funky. I found it on Amazon. It's from Wet n Wild. This is the Megalas Liquid Catsuit in the shade Caught Bare Naked. Um, it's the perfect, super light ballet slipper pink. I will swatch it. Um, yeah, most of you are going to be like, what the heck? Uh, super comfortable. The formula, it's like, it's not quite a lip gloss. It's more like a liquid lipstick, but I hate liquid lipsticks. But this one is super comfortable and it's very opaque. You need the tiniest amount, at least of this shade, because watch, it's going to look like for a hot second, hang in there, that I have concealer lips. Super comfortable. Super 80s. Super light. I love this. So what I normally will use this for is... If and when I put on a lip product that's way too dark or not my shade, this comes in handy because it will like tone it down and lighten it. But what I've discovered is I've been putting this on because I like how it feels and I like how it looks, but it's a little too light. However, this lip gloss here from Tower 28, which is in the shade Ice Pistachio, I picked this up in the Spring VIB sale. It was a nice little kit came with a lip liner. This is a really nice lip gloss and I found has a flat paddle by the way and has a nice soft scent. If I put this on top, watch the magic. This has a soft kind of peachy pink and the two of them together just for me and my nude look are chef's kiss. All right, I know. The, my lip shades aren't for everyone. I wouldn't even say that. My lip shades are probably for like two other people in the world. But I like it and that's what makeup is all about. You should be wearing makeup because it makes you happy, not for others. All right, so here is my final look. Wearing everything I'm currently reaching for and are my faves. 
let me know if you've tried any of these products or if you agree with me or how much you hate my light lift shade or if you're the other two people in the world that love this i love hearing from you so leave me a comment it actually also really helps my channel out all right i want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by i really do appreciate it if you haven't done so by now i would love if you would subscribe for those who have thank you so much remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos and if you could do me a big favor clicking the thumbs up it really does help with my channel to grow all right thanks everyone